Stakes were extremely high before Ghana entered its second game against South Korea because we lost in our first game against Portugal. It was all excitement and jubilation when we scored 2-0 against South Korea in the first half. We are here at Dunkwa Circle to you know, monitor the second half of the game. We'll be gauging the excitement, the mood and of course the heartbreaks. The streets seemed almost deserted. But on a normal Monday afternoon, it would have been a busy one. The 58th and 61st minutes of the second half was not a delight to watch as the Asian side equalized the two goals against Ghana. At this point, fans were down. The team was chastised for being complacent. In a country like Ghana, where everyone is a coach, for fans, this was a right time for coach Otto Ado to showcase his tactical prowess to defeat the South Koreans. Jordan's cross to Mohamed Kudus to end a third goal for Ghana in the 68th minute changed the atmosphere. Police personnel left nothing to chance. Their eyes were fixed on the monitor to catch every glimpse. Others had no choice but to park along the side of the road and enjoy the match. The latter part of the match became heated as South Korea did everything to equalize. But chants of away by fans were enough to lead the Black Stars on. And this was the mood right after referee Anthony Taylor blew the whistle with a 3-2 scoreline in favor of Ghana. It is because of pressure. That is why we chastise the team. They can earn all the dollars, but we need a win to jubilate. Yeah, you Ghanaian? Of course I'm Ghanaian. And how excited are you? I'm extremely excited. Mm -hmm. Well done, Ghana. Mm -hmm. We love Ghana. <laughs> Ghana sweet pa. Our next game is a revenge game against Uruguay. What are your expectations? Oh, we are going to win by force. This year we are going to win the World Cup. 100%. Is not too early to say this? No, absolutely not. Near me war. You go see. After all is said and done, it's a win for Ghana against South Korea on a 3-2 scoreline. Our next game is what I call a revenge one against Uruguay on Friday. Prayers are up that the Black Stars will make Ghana proud once again, but with less heart attacks. George Quinn, TV3 News, Dunkwa Circle, Accra.